Welcome back to Canadian Justice, where we're talking to Christine Tizard about her Canadian healthcare nightmare. And Christine, you were able to have the surgery that ended your pain and, and saved your life in Pittsburgh when the surgery kept getting canceled in, in Canada. You are fighting now with the Ontario government to have those costs, the $133,000 that you paid for that surgery, uh, refunded to you. Because Ontario does have a program that is supposed to refund our, our Ontarians when they have to travel abroad, when care isn't available at home. I know you've said there are a lot of bureaucratic hoops to jump through. Do you think you have a good, ch you have a chance of success. Where do things stand now with that fight with the Ontario government? Um, I have no idea. I sent in the paperwork initially and I got rejected, which I was told when I called them from Pittsburgh before the surgery, I was told that it doesn't matter if you can't get the paperwork in before the surgery, just get it in after. And then what will happen is you'll get rejected, but then you will appeal it. So I started to work on the appeal and then I was told through asking around that it's really good to hire a lawyer if you're going to appeal it. And then I couldn't find a lawyer who was willing to appeal it because they said it costs so much money and time that it's not worth it for a patient to spend all of that money when they're probably going to say no anyways. It's very, very, very difficult to win an appeal. So right now, I'm going to try to reapply. I've hired a lawyer to help me do that, to reapply with all the paperwork in the hopes that they'll look at me with fresh eyes. Um, I had no idea that I was supposed to do the paperwork and send it in before the surgery, even though I knew, and they told me I wouldn't get an answer back before the surgery. Where, where time like, is of the it, essence, right? It, like the surgery <laughs> need, couldn't wait for the bureaucratic system. It doesn't make any logical sense, right? It's like around, around you go, you're spinning in circles. So Christine, I, I wanna know why it's so important for you to share this story. I think one issue I think is that a lot of Canadians just don't know that our system works like this. Yeah. Uh, people don't know until they get sick, right? We think we have free health care and then something goes wrong and then you realize how hard it is to get this health care. For instance, I have a paralysis in my eye right now, and I need a specific surgery to straighten it so it hopefully will start to work again, and I don't see double all the time. I'm on a list right now for a strabismus surgery that might take two years. Two years to wait for an eye surgery. How am I supposed to work and get back to life in that period of time? Yeah, and what I know toll it is that taking cliche. on your on your mental health? I imagine it's it's, it's difficult. It's it's driving me crazy. Um, and I know it sounds super cliche, but before I went in to have my brain surgery, I told myself that if I make it at it this surgery alive and okay and still being able to talk, that I would try to do something. I don't care if I just reach one person or more than one person, or if I can change a policy or something, but something needs to change. I don't think it's cliche at all. I think it's really <laughs> courageous what you're doing. And I am just so happy that the surgery was successful and that you are here today to be with your friends and your family and, and for Thank people you. to hear, the, hear your story. So Christine... I, I wish you well. I hope that your health continues to improve and you're able to get the care that all, all people need and, and deserve. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on to talk all about right. what happened to you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you.